Are you looking for a quick workout, one that you can do in a small space like a hotel room or a tiny apartment? Well, today's class is just for you. Now, I know it's travel season and a lot of us maybe want to make sure we're doing a little bit of a workout while we're on our vacation, but don't want to spend a whole hour doing a class. I totally get that. Sometimes just a quick little workout can make such a difference, especially when we're traveling and maybe we want to make sure that our hips, our low back are feeling strong for walking around and doing all of our fun activities. This is a standing kind of Pilates or mini bar class that we can do in a really small space. We are going to work exclusively on like our legs and our hips, which remember helps our back, helps our posture, making sure those muscles are working. Anyway, you don't need a mat, you don't need a prop, you just need a little bit of space in front of you, behind you to move the legs just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll start standing. Take a moment and really lift up and out of your waist. Imagine I'm holding your ears, pulling them up towards the ceiling, broaden across your chest, take a breath. Dip your chin to your chest as you exhale. Roll your right ear to right shoulder. Bring it back down to your chest. Roll your left ear to left shoulder. Bring it back down to your chest. Bring your gaze upright. Let's wake up our hips. I just want you to pick up a knee and kind of rotate it around. Just swiveling that knee, saying hello to our hips. And then opposite direction, out to in, out to in. As fast or slow, as big or small as you need those movements to be. And then if you can, take a little bit of a wider stance, bring your hands to your hips, push your hips forward, squeeze where your thigh and your glute connect. Keep that feeling as you push the hips around in a great big circle. We might feel a little bit silly, but who cares? No one's watching us. Take it in the opposite direction. And then come back to center. I'm gonna to turn to face the other side so you can see me a little bit better. You can face whatever direction you can fit best. Start with just a bit, of be a bit of a bend in the knees and step your left foot back so we're in a small lunge. Wrap the tummy in. Think about pulling your pubic bone up towards your belly button so we really turn on those abdominal muscles. And then from here, all I want us to do is take a big inhale as you exhale, pick up your left knee. Now as much as you can, bring the knee right in line with the hip. Notice if you're arching the back at all, can we pull the navel to spine? Can you lift up and out of your waist? And then again, set the foot back, take a big breath, exhale, pull it up, see if we can balance. <sighs> Inhale, touch it back down to the ground, exhale, pull it up. Your toe can be pointed, flex soft, whatever works for you. Again, touch it back down, exhale, pull it up. <sighs> Inhale, reach it right back down. Two more, exhale, pull it up. Inhale, right back down. Last one, lift it up, pause. Navel to spine, grow longer out your right side like I'm pulling your right ear to the sky. Hands could be at our hips, out in front of us, whatever helps us balance best. Flex your foot. Five times, drive the heel down to the ground. Exhale, pull the knee up towards your belly button. Inhale, push the heel down. Exhale, pull it up towards your belly button. Two more, push it down. Exhale, pull it up. Last one, bring it down, lift it up. Step back to your little lunge. Take a great big breath. Step both feet together. Bend the knees and reach your right foot back behind you. Start in that easy lunge, making sure shoulders stays over hips, tummy up and in, chest open, big inhale, exhale, stand up, picking up your right leg. Now again, we want to focus on keeping our hip and knee in line with one another. If it's a little lower, a little higher, not the end of the world, but this is the goal. Inhale, touch back. Exhale, use your tummy muscles, pull the knee up. Inhale, touch back, exhale, pull it up. Inhale, right back, exhale, pull it up. Three more down, exhale, lift it up. Two more down and up. Last one, lift it up, pause. Squeeze your thigh butt connection point on your left side. Grow longer and taller out the left side. Drive the heel down to the ground, exhale, pull the knee up. Inhale, drive the heel down to the ground, exhale, pull it up. Three more, push it down and lift. Two more, push it down and lift. Last one, lift it up, pause, take a big breath. Step back to your little lunge. Take both feet together. I'm gonna to turn this way so you can see me a little bit better. Similar to what we did, but now to the side. Take the legs a little bit wider. Go ahead and lean over to your left leg. Now I'm gonna push off my left leg and stand tall on my right. 
Drop right back down. If it feels better, you can take your hands off to the side. Now I want you to see if you can find that moment of balance each time we lift up. Exhale, push up. Inhale, touch down. Exhale, push up. Inhale, push down. Two more up and down. Last one, lift, pause. Turn on your tummy muscles more. Reach your fingertips further away. Wrap the tummy in. Squeeze your thigh butt connection points so hard on both sides. Send the toe further away. I've got my toe pointed. If you'd rather it be flexed or soft, it's okay. Tap your toe down to the ground beside you. Lift it up. Tap the toe down to the side. Exhale, lift it up. Three more down. Exhale, lift. Two more down. Exhale, lift. Last one. Lift, pause. Take a big breath and then return to that little lunge. Come back to your center, sway to the other side, big inhale, exhale, push it up, inhale down, exhale, push it up, inhale over. Take it at your own pace. Now remember, you want to find almost that moment of balance each time that you lift up, not just swaying over and falling down. Every time I lift up, it's like I could just stay there. Two more up and down, Last one up, pause. Squeeze your thigh butt connection point. Reach your fingertips further away. Turn on all the muscles in your leg. Tap the toe to the floor, exhale, lift. Tap the toe to the floor, exhale, lift. Three more down and pick it up. Two more down and pick it up. Last one, lift, pause, take a big breath. And then sink back, come back to your center. Push over to your left side again. Great big inhale, exhale, sway, lift. Inhale down, exhale, lift, inhale down. Three more up and down, two more up and down. Last time again, stand tall, pause, squeeze your thigh butt connection point, reach your fingertips further away, turn on all the muscles in your leg, tap the toe down, exhale, lift, tap the toe down, exhale, lift. Three more down and up, two more down and up. Last one, lift, pause. Sway to the left, sway to the right, pick up your right leg, drop it down. Pick up your right leg, drop it down. Push off, set yourself down. Push off, set yourself down. Last one, little lift, pause. Squeeze your foot, reach your fingertips away, wrap the tummy in, tap the toe down, exhale, lift. Tap the toe down, exhale, lift. Three and two. Last one, lift, pause, and then let everything go, shake it out. I'm gonna to turn to face the front again, just so you can see me. And again, we're gonna start with our left foot behind us in a little lunge, different from before. Hands can come to our hips off to the side, pitch gently forward. Wrap your abdominal muscles in, start to squeeze your thigh butt connection point, see if you can pick the foot off the floor. Now your leg can be pointed or your toe can be pointed or flexed. We want it to be parallel though. So notice if you're externally rotating, turning the knee away, we want the knee and the toe to kind of point down to the ground. Now really turn on that thigh glute connection point without arching your back. Without popping the tush up, I want you to push the heel up to the sky, drop the toe back to its starting place. Exhale, push it up, inhale, bring it down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Three more up and down, two more up and down. Last time up, pause, squeeze your thut, open up across your chest, take a great big breath. Now flex your foot. Actively externally rotate the leg. That's the toe and the knee pointing away from the body. You can point again if you feel good or keep it flexed. And then holding that external rotation, now drop the toe down, exhale, lift. Drop the toe down, exhale, lift. Three and two. Last one, lift, pause, take a big breath and set everything down. Give yourself a little sway, a little wiggle. My hip just popped there. I doubt you could hear it. If your hip popped, know that mine did too. Go ahead, bend the knees. Step your right foot back behind you. Take that same pitch forward. Navel to spine, chest nice and open. Start to squeeze your thigh butt connection point as you float the foot up. Now again, our foot should be parallel. So toes, knees pointing down. You can point again, turning on all the muscles. Exhale, lift, inhale, drop. Exhale, lift, inhale, drop. Three more up and down. Two more up and down. Last one up, flex 
externally rotate. Again, point the toe, reach the foot further away, wrap the tummy muscles in. Notice if you're arching the back at all. And then tap the foot down, exhale, lift. Tap the foot down, exhale, lift. Drop it down, exhale, pick it up. Drop it down, exhale, pick it up. Three, and two, last one, lift, pause, relax, shake it out, give yourself a little wiggle. Stand tall and straight, roll the shoulders back, lift the head high, take a breath, dip your chin to chest, bend the knees, slowly round forward into a great big forward fold. Let the head dangle, look through your legs, take an easy sway of the hips side to side. Pause, relax the shoulders down the back, tuck your tail as you roll yourself all the way up to standing. Arrive tall and straight, feeling stronger through our low body, and as always, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing your little workout today. I hope you enjoyed, and I cannot wait to see you again.